Trading stocks, futures, options on futures, and retail off-exchange foreign currency transactions involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data, and recommendations are subject to change at any time. Good morning, everybody. So Biden in his State of the Union address said, basically, lower inflation, we just need to lower prices. Did that all make you laugh? <clears throat> well, apparently movie theaters have decided not to take that to heart. If you're headed to see Batman this weekend, you should expect to pay a dollar more than usual because theaters are introducing what's called surge pricing for this flick. <clears throat> so the answer for lower prices to curb inflation, mind boggling. Good morning, Willie. So here we are in the midst of terrible Russian-Ukraine war and sanctions on Russia everywhere. But yesterday, stocks rose across the board, mostly due to strong corporate fundamentals outshining all this geopolitical stuff, at least for a day. Intel had shown strong uh, move up of 4.38% after getting the shout out from Biden on the State of the Union. Mr. Elon was like, hey, where was my shout out? Fed Chair Powell told Congress it's too soon to say how the war in Ukraine will affect central bank plans for now, but it's not enough to derail what we need to do. Raise rates. I'm just via Abbas and Aslani. Source of the other talks have finished on if the talks are finished, said the principle is that nothing is agreed until everything is agreed. Some issues yet remain. We open up green this morning and are probably going to open up green, but as of the moment, all the futures indices are green. VIX is red, bonds are red, and the VIX Tweet. is red. Uh, go from that, Abbas Aslani says, Vienna source says the principle is that nothing is agreed until everything is agreed. Some issues yet remain. Just getting comments from unsighted senior diplomats say Iran's stock of uranium enriched to up to 60% purity is around three quarters of commonly used theoretical amount if enriched further for one nuclear bomb. We'll I'll be trading the ES and silver today. Off to a good start on two trades on silver. 
one last night before I went to bed. And one just a little bit ago. Another Russian billionaire getting the squeeze as uh, yesterday, the Roman Amrovich said he would sell the Chelsea Football Club, the English soccer powerhouse he owned since 2003. The sale of Chelsea is the biggest instance of yet of Western pressure forcing Russian oligarchs to part their prized assets. What exactly is an oligarch? Oligarch. I actually had to look it up to see exactly what it meant, but an oligarch like Arch. Do you know Roche latest to announce a five part dollar issuance today? That's one and a half year floating, two year, three year fixed, and a three year floating, and a five year. Agart is an elite individual who wields considerable political influence in society. Oligarchy is a form of government that is characterized by a few often corrupt oligarchs with an outsized grip on power. So why are they so prominent in Russia, oligarchs? Apparently you have to go back to the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. In the years following its demise, the country, uh, now known as Russia, began the process of privatizing many of the valuable assets owned by the government during its communist days. But the auctions for these assets were as rigged as Monopoly. And when you're the banker, you get to move the pieces. Mark Denver, good morning. Amazon Books calling it quits. Amazon Books. Amazon uh, retail exploded like Mentos and a Diet Coke. Company said it's closing all 68 of its physical bookstores and pop-ups in major shakeup in its brick and mortar strategy. Right now they are going to continue to focus on grocery stores, a fashion store in LA and cashless tech. Cashierless tech. Ford split in two yesterday. Ford said yesterday we'll divide into two separate businesses Ford Blue which will handle internal combustion engine vehicles, and Ford Model E, which will focus on EVs. Interesting to see how that plays out over the next few years. And uh, first, uh, Meta, now TikTok, as after the uh, Biden speech, eight state attorney generals launching an investigation into TikTok and its potential physical and mental harm on users. We've been down this path already a few times, haven't we, with TikTok? And pretty much everybody has thrown out their Russian vodka, so I guess that makes pretty much gin and uh, soda people now.
just on the Ukraine energy supply. Do you know Urka Transgaz says Ukraine has banned exports of gas from its underground storages? And Apple is going to hold an event on March the 8th where it's expected to unveil a new low-cost iPhone model. That might be a good phone for my, for my parents. I had to check into that. And Uber announced several initiatives to support refugees, including unlimited free rides between Poland and Ukraine. I think, I don't, I'm not sure I'd be giving a free ride to somebody. I'm not making that drive between Ukraine and Poland for free. I wonder if their Uber people are even working that. Wow. And that's your morning brew. We are two minutes from kickoff. Two minutes. I had said uh, on Tuesday that... Uh, I went broadcasting two times a week, and my uh, stream views basically decreased. <laughs> so it made me think, reconsider, do I even really need to stream or want to stream anymore if I, I stream more and my views go down? <clears throat> Especially when I do believe streaming causes a little bit of angst in my trading, feeling like I need to be in a trade all the time. So next week, I'm going to take the week off. My wife is also on spring break. She is a high school teacher. So we'll take the week off. She will be home. I can have breakfast and things with her and give her a little bit more time. And then the following week, I'll probably come back on, but we're going to go once. Right now, we'll go back to once a week since... Viewership has, and we'll just see how viewership does. Sees whole of Ukraine. That's according to that Macron aide after the phone call. FT sites in the aid are saying that President Putin only sees the whole of Ukraine. So the overnight low in the ES was forty three sixty seven. We are currently sitting at uh, right around forty four oh eight. A nice bump overnight from the lows. Thanks, Willie. Hey, Mike, good morning. <clears throat> All right, let's see what uh, develops here. Thanks, Mark in Denver. We'll just go back to once a week again and just see what stats do. We'll push up here in ES. Breath starts out not great. Let's go look at the breath. Breath under the surface. Yesterday, here is the breath under the surface. Look at that. I mean, you favored longs all day yesterday. Rest starting out a little bit weak for the first candle. We'll see how this plays out. It usually takes about three or four candles to uh, see how it develops. VIX uh, on near the lows here, below uh, 30 in VIX futures. Good morning, one, two, three.
I believe the streaming quality of the broadcast came back to normal after last Thursday being a little uh, crazy. <clears throat> Order filled. Try along here in ES for a scalp. Really should wait the first 15 minutes to get over with. Like this is gonna fail. Today I'm using a 15 tick stop and a six tick target. Stop filled. Seems like a little choppy uh, to start the morning here. Really been interesting. Um, some of the Twitter followers I've found for uh, this uh, Ukraine war going on. <clears throat> and uh, Twitter spaces has been great. A couple of Twitter spaces have been absolutely fantastic for finding out what's really going on in Russia besides listening to repeat news on CNN or Fox News. Can you see if I can turn on the... Uh, current uh Sanctions against this the is, so the sanctions aren't just against Russia. Sanctions are against any company, any any entity that deals with Russia. So they have to make a choice: sell to the Russian market or sell to all the world. I, I assume they're going to sell to the whole world and not Russia. Yeah, but you're you're assuming the sanctions always work 100. percent I mean, wasn't uh, Huawei just caught recently here in Canada with the um, CFO that was that was held in? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so anyways, yeah, that, that yeah, one. Yeah. So that was anyway. Right. Really good Twitter spaces for this information that have been running 24 7, including getting uh, live uh, reports from people on the, on the ground. <clears throat> All right, second candle still showing negative at the moment. In the breath, out of the gate, we're a little. A little negative selling and uh, VIX popping just a little bit here.
Actually, uh, later tonight, I'm going to take the people that I found on Twitter and create a list with it so I can break out in my tweet deck just the specifics on the war. Still getting a, maybe a bit of a pop here after it's uh, finally gotten a little selling that uh, happened uh, the last few hours. Um, forecast here from JP Morgan on oil sell side saying they were word disruption to Russian volumes to last throughout the year. Brent oil could exit the year at 185 per barrel. JPM saying as of today, 66% of Russian oil is struggling to find buyers. I click on a link and get, oops, something went wrong. Well, that was weird. Let me try to copy the link address and paste it on a, another uh, PC. Copy link address. There's been some decent, uh, at least, uh, live video from Ukraine. I still get, oops, something went wrong. So, so it doesn't like the link for some reason there. Original prices. One, two, three. Rivian walking back on its earlier announced price hikes. Oh, man, I missed the trade. Doggone it. Ugh. Pete from JP Morgan on the oil market says in the immediate term, Price needs to increase to 120 per barrel and stay there for months to incentivize demand destruction, assuming no immediate Iranian volumes. I missed the ES long there. I might need some Russian vodka. I do know in five minutes time, we are on the lookout for the market services PMI final for February did initially come in at 56.7 and we're also looking out for the final market PMI which it initially came in at 56 and of course that does come ahead of the ISM services due at the top of the hour. And more comments on JP Morgan doing the wires. So w I O N. I'll go to YouTube and just put that in. Hundred dollars. The I E A could commit to release fifty million barrels per month for the rest of the year, or even more. Um, w D D News also is uh, there's W I O N live. Um, WD, WDD was also some uh, news on uh, YouTube. But uh, I tell you, the, the Twitter spaces is where it's at, definitely. Um, and it also seems as though Ukrainians are really have taken to Telegram. And more from JP Morgan. It says they maintain their price forecast for Brent to average 110 per barrel in the second quarter of this year, $100 in third quarter, and $90 per barrel in fourth quarter, with price rising as high as 120 in the interim. JPN saying without Iranian barrels, they see all prices averaging 115 in the second quarter, 105 in the third quarter, and 95 by fourth quarter. Order filled. Really almost afraid to take this trade after missing this one. 
Just on the Ukraine front, you know, Ukraine Foreign Minister saying Ukraine is looking at the option of deploying international peacekeepers. Got within a tick. I'm I'm working on on six ticks. Just getting comments from Russian bank VTB. Their VTB Bank Europe branch says, we can assure you that the economic situation of the bank is stable and the bank is fully operational. Well, Rivian isn't following uh, um, Biden's advice either. It's raising prices, although it does say original. Confirmed prices will be honored for pre-orders as of March 1st. Hmm. Biden, nobody is uh, lowering prices that I see. <laughs> for the market services PMI final reading for February. Initially came in at 56.7, with the composite initially coming in at 56. I'm just breaking away, do not Ukraine energy minister says Gazprom supplies to Europe via Ukraine pipeline continue to increase since the war started. The Ukraine energy mins are seeing European partners do stop taking gas from Russia, says the energy man is working on technical issues to connect to European electricity grid and the aim is to be done by March 14th and the energy minister says it needs the UN atomic watchdog to do more to protect Ukraine nuclear power plants than just issue declaration and 10 seconds till market PMI final and services that is lower to 56 spot 5 from 56 spot 7 with composite at 55 spot 9 that's down from the initial 56 reading but again these are the final readings more attention on the ism services in 15 minutes time we got the ism services pmi and then uh, fed chair uh, powell testifies For UK equities, do note Macquarie and KKR said to near 20 billion US deal for CKI's UK power networks. Just one of the lines in the market release. It does say February's PMI surveys are broadly consistent with GDP rising at an annualized rate of three and a half percent, representing a substantial improvement on the zero spot nine percent rate signaled by the January surveys. Six is pushing down, approaching the lows in the morning.
Silver being a little slow out of the gate here. I don't know if it's waiting on the PMI or it's waiting for Fed speak. Downside in the fixed income space. Technicians for the Bernard <clears throat> contract flagging me falling through support at 168.53. Next key levels seen at 168.38, followed by 01. Looking at the German 10 year bond yield today, it was currently at seven basis points in positive territory. Magnitude 5.7 earthquake strikes Veracruz, New Mexico. New Mexico, Mexico, Veracruz, Mexico. <laughs> Just on the earthquakes monitors, we are seeing a magnitude 5.7 earthquake strike in Veracruz near, in Mexico. According to the EMSC, 5.7 magnitude earthquake strikes Veracruz, Mexico. Maybe I should just run a news service because I'm usually head of this news guy just from my Twitter feed stuff. So much for VIX on the lows. Ukraine presidential advisor says talks with Russia have started. And following reports that Ukraine had arrived for talks, the Ukraine presidential advisor saying talks with Russia have started. Oh, it's fun to be ahead of the news. Order filled. Long ES here for a scout. When it doesn't push through fast, it usually fails. <clears throat> Target filled. Got that one. In under 10 minutes time now, we're at the top of the hour, looking out for ISM services for January, correction, February. Do note, streets looking for 61, that's up from January's 59 spot, 9. Looking with particular attention on that prices paid component as usual, previously at 82 spot, 3. 
forward looking new orders previously at 61.7 and looking at employment sub index for a proxy ahead of Friday's NFP which in January stood at 52.3. Simultaneously, once I'm done with the ISM services, we'll go over to US factory orders for January. It's expected to rise spot 7% compared to the prior decline of spot 4%. Also looking out for any revisions to durable goods for January, which initially came in at one spot 6% rise. Hey, good morning, Alex. And do note, Fed Chair Powell is due to be speaking again at to the Senate Banking Committee from the top of the hour. And for those who want to watch it live, have put a link to watch it at the top of the headline feed. All right, we've moved in a little bit of a red cloud here. So we've got some negative ticks in the ES. Red cloud. We have red breath at the moment. That are three, six, nine, twelve minutes VIX coming up. So selling side is uh, at the moment. What's going on? Libyan supply. Do you know two oil engineers at the Shamba <clears throat> field say operations have paused after pipeline valve was shut. Got news at the top of the hour. So right now, I'm probably just going to hold off taking any trades till we get the news out of the way. While I do, while I'm waiting for the news, I do want to put these codes up in the room. You can check them in the description. Lilu uh, Trading. I do know UK Foreign Minister Trust saying they have a further list of Russian oligarchs they are working through to build sanctions on. Has um, good deals going for the month of March that I'm able to provide that's uh, not on their website. Using these... Uh, codes so for example fifty thousand dollar trading account seventy eight fifty believe the fifty thousand is i think a twenty five hundred dollar profit target to pass and then you get an account and that code is pw50 but uh information is in the description in the link go check out lilu trading if you want to be uh have a prop firm to uh use their money instead of trading your money ES took a little turn there, and I was biz busy promoting. <laughs> Lilu. Missed that scalp. Oh, well. I did say I wasn't going to scalp until after the news is over anyway. Five minutes till news. <clears throat> The other good thing, it is Thursday, and the PGA is live and kicked off. So I got a little uh, PGA action to watch while trading. This is the honored Arnold Palmer Invitational. In Orlando, Florida. Man, Silver definitely waiting on this uh, EMI or something here. I haven't seen Silver this slow in weeks, it seems, off during the RTH session.
Just wanted to look at a couple things while I'm waiting on this news. <clears throat> Where do we stand on the cumulative four week new high lows? Well, we have improvement here. Last few days, we've seen improvement. Really need to get a close just some ags headlines doing back around. above the 250 to be, to be and positive. Ukraine war boiling trade. I was trying to tap in US corn and soybeans. And the Russian ETF RSX destroyed, completely destroyed. Just think of this happened in the US, folks. Look at the VIX. Definitely any time the VIX is above this level, it's definitely wild times. I can't really see that color. Maybe I can thicken that line. Services, that's expected at 61. Up from the prior 59 spot line, and then once on food with the ISM services and the breakdown, there we go. go over to January factory orders expected to rise spot 7%. You can see when we are above this line, bad things happen. <laughs> when we are below the line, much better things happen. <laughs> Easy way to put it, huh? Really, when you think about it, spies held up pretty well since the wire began. Actually, we have a bit of a divergence. We've got a lower uh, lower low here, and we got a higher high in the uh, MACD and on RSI. It's actually a nice little uh, divergence. Here. Fifty-six spot five. Fifty-six spot five. Well below the expected 61 and down from the prior 59 spot 9. New orders 56 spot 1, while prices paid 83 spot 1. That rises higher there. Employment 48 spot 5 falls into contractionary from 52 spot 3. Whilst well, going over to the factory orders. 1 spot 4% rise. That is above expected spot 7%. Oh, well, news is out of the way. Transport, that's 1% rise. ISM manufacturing, though, did decline. Tumbles to 56.5. Headline durable goods were unrevised. Forecast was 61.7, so... Coming under there. Watching M2K here also on a chart. Don't have it on the broadcast screen. If we get a turn, I will probably take along there. Got the countenance turned up, blue channels turned up, so good chance we're along in M2K. And we'll take it now. Order, order filled. I'll bring him 2K over. <clears throat> Order submitted.
Alex, uh, let me see if I can find you one of my videos on, um, that I did doing the review of you, Lou. But essentially, Lily Trading is a prop firm where you trade uh, essentially other people's money. However, before they give you money to trade, you have to pass an evaluation. One of the bigger, well-known ones is called Top Step Trader. Uh, but their rules are very, very difficult, make it very difficult to pass the evaluation. Uh, the rules are much more friendly with uh, Lilu uh, trading than in Top Step. So, essentially, depending on the account size you're looking to trade, I gave the example of the 50K account. So, the 50K account allows you to trade, I believe, like eight, my eight minis. Actually, I'd have to go to the website to look it up. But um, each account steps in how much you're able to uh, risk. And each account, as the higher it gets, you need to make more money to pass the evaluation. So the 50K account, energy you need to make. Neptune Energy does say it may accelerate gas production at Norway's Duva field beyond the original plan due to the European market strain. Neptune Energy is saying tests of Duva gas output should be concluded by early April. And that if test result is positive, company will seek permission from Norway Energy Ministry to ramp up the Duva Fields gas output. Here is my. Let me get the link here. It was. There aren't any figures attached to those proposals in these headlines. Uh, there's the link I posted. The uh, my actual review of it oh, well what's the catch the catch is you have to pay that monthly fee so for example a 50k account uh, futures account uh, what is the um, that monthly fee it's on my promo promotion code yeah uh, pull up my uh, Fifty K account, um seventy eight fifty. So you have to make uh twenty five hundred dollars in a month. Seventy eight fifty. If you don't make twenty five hundred dollars, then um the next month you have to pay another seventy eight fifty. And you keep paying that until you make your twenty five hundred dollars. The downside is there's also, I believe, a twenty five hundred dollar trailing drawdown. Testing the multi asset channel. Means you can't lose twenty five hundred dollars. You lose twenty five twenty five hundred dollars. The account is gone. So essentially, the catch is you need to make money trading. Uh, but the good part is, if you pay seventy eight fifty, it's better than losing what it would take in a fifty k account to see if you could pass. So essentially, you need to pass their test. You pass their test. They will fund you, and then you can have live real payouts of your money. But you got to pass the evaluation first. So the catch is, can you trade? Can you make money? Otherwise, you will have to keep paying these monthly fees and opening accounts. I mean, my first few times that I tried passing, uh, I failed. So I had to rebuy account over. But I still saved a whole lot of money than if I used my own account. I'm currently trading two $50,000 accounts. One I trade pretty much on silver. And one I trade on micros and this ES scalp. So here's a micro right here, the honey badger, Russell 2000. But that I really need to pay attention to a little bit more of my trading going on at the moment. But that review, and if you uh, Google some things, you'll get, uh, you can find out a little bit more information on it. There are probably about four good prop firms that you can um thanks alex probably four good prop firms that you can trust uh lilu trading is one top step trader is one earn to trade is one um you profit i think is the other one 
Four or five, that. Hey there, Feds Master, currently on CNBC. So it's Feds Master, currently on CNBC. And of course, she is a 2022 voter. There are four or five that are very similar in nature. They just have different rules for trading that they allow you. Um, since it's their money, you have to essentially follow their rules. Um, but Lilu trading is probably the, I, I think, the least cumbersome of any of the rules. That is why I use them, but really any of those firms, as long as you pass their evaluation, they will fund you uh, an account. Semester just noting that the task for the Fed is to move accommodation at a pace necessary to bring inflation under control. She does also note the situation in Ukraine does add uncertainty to the economic outlook. Let's get back to trading here. You can see that Britain says that 45 OSCE participating states are invoking the OSCE's Moscow mechanism to set up a mission of experts looking to potential rights abuses in Ukraine. Ukraine naturally does support that. And the mission will establish facts around issues including potential cases of war crimes and crimes against humanity. Or Order filled. Long yes here. So just noting here from Fed semester that the uncertainty about the economic outlook does add upside risks on inflation. That makes it even more important for the Fed to take action. Mester does also note the potential is that large rise in energy prices and supply chain issues continues for longer, increasing the chance of high inflation getting embedded in the US. Feels like this one will go and fail. Furthermore, Mester says it's starting with 25 and further increases in the coming months. Maybe not. In a good position. Oh, guy within one tick. Target there there we go. All right, we are flat. Hey, we're back green now on the ES. Silver, I'm just, there's just no movement going on the silver here. I've got nothing to trade today. This is just wild. I'm not sure, like Silver just decided to take a break today? Hey, oil got itself back green again. Remember that uh, it was a little bit red? Mm, no, not at all. It's back green again. A hundred and a freaking hundred and eleven dollars in futures uh, crude. This is crazy. Look at this move. Look at this move, man. That move yesterday was. Man. But in that move, we did get well above the Keltner channels here. And so it's a little extended, but hey, even though a little extended, it still can run on you. Maybe we'll try it. We'll try it. Try an oil, oil short here. Where's it? Yeah, hold on. I may try an oil short, oil short. Go against the grain here. Yeah, we're going short. Order, order filled. Even catch this little pullback. Doesn't feel good about it. In terms of inflation, it George is the wrong side to be trading this thing. Five to four percent inflation, or even higher at the end of 2022. I, I do still trade uh, MCL Market Denver. Right now, I'm trying to focus on ES here. 
a little bit more. Long M2K right now, long short oil. <laughs> Just looking a further ahead, Nesta says, if by the middle of the year, after rate hikes and balance sheet trimming, if it does not see inflation moving back down, that would signal need to move accommodation at a faster pace. That it's going to fail. The oil's going to fail. Big dummy. Stop filled. There we go. Stopped on oil. The, the, the problem, Market Denver, is trying to focus on many, like four or five different things. It's especially if you're trying to do a broadcast, is well, virtually impossible. And uh, I've decided to focus a little bit more on ES. Actually, I'd say in, in the year 22, I'm trying to focus a little bit more on the minis instead of the micros. So I've still got my... Long over here in the micro uh, Russell, I will add add uh, add to it here on a turn. I'm just leaving it on the side. <clears throat> it's also noting it could very well be the case that interest rates need to move above up. The long run neutral rate to tame inflation. Uh, it would be nice, Willie. It is really, really hard hard to do. If if trading isn't hard enough. Trying to balance between making aware that US Treasury a boring is speaking, not really saying too much at the moment, but just making you aware that she is speaking. broadcast. Still, we got negative uh, negative ticks. We haven't really had a three minute positive candle tick yet. Really like to see this, uh, you know, change. We came in the red clouds back here to uh, have a bit of a downtrend kind of going. Fed Meister, to keep inflation under control, interest rates may need to rise above long run neutral. Lawrence Norman of Wall Street Journal just noting he has received definitive news that there is no definitive end to the Iran talks and a deal is neither done nor has it collapsed. That's the latest from Wall Street Journal's Lawrence Norman. I just don't know what's up with silver. Why is silver acting? Like it's acting. It's just nothing going on. It's over.
Sure looks like if uh, silver loses this level, though, it's going to go down. We've had this uh, move down, and there seems to be some support here that's trying to find some stabilization, but silver loses this level. It's probably headed lower. Order filled. Long yes again. Come on, one more tick. Ugh. So just note, Fed's Mester's appearance on CNBC has now concluded. Been trying to squeeze out two extra ticks in this trade. I was going for last week for four. This week I'm going for six, and I do find that one last little tick. Zeta says they have to purchase at least $4 billion of shares in 2022. Sometimes this can be a pain to hold out for. And separately, the U.S. Senate Committee has voted to advance nominations of key nominees to the FTC and Federal Communications. Actually, move it up a little bit here because now, if it takes this out, I'll probably run a few more ticks. So, go for go for nine ticks if the stop doesn't uh, fall, fall here. And there it goes down. Probably should just close this trade at this loss and be better than the full stop. So calling to pause the EU is seeking to hold it. Russia's most favored nation status at the WTO. Do bear in mind it did have an update from stop Canada build. a short while ago. Just noting that they would likely be following the same course of action. Next up at the bottom of the hour, look out for the weekly EI natural gas storage change data. Seen at a draw of 138 BCF. Oh, we have some live video of the, uh, the talks here. Russian or Ukraine talks begin. I'm just noting uh, remarks here, not really seeing too much from Fed's power, but just making you aware that comments are beginning to do the rounds, just stating no significant issues yet of cyber threats. This kind of gangster look. Get the gangster look right there. Gangster, gangster, gangster. 
Yeah, I'll come and sit down with the suits. <laughs> There's the talk started. Still can't buy a uh, positive tick, right? Nothing negative ticks since the open. VIX popping. I try to take a long. <laughs> Should be focusing on shorts. But I tell you, I am so geared long that it is hard for me to short. Order filled. Long. Further from Powell, not really adding too much new, just stating there will be further uh, pressure on inflation for a while and could see uh, people holding back on spending in the US. And reiteration from yesterday it says in the Fed needs to be alert and nimble in making Fed decisions. Just as U.S. equities continue to pull back, even the S&P now in marginal negative territory, fourth session down one tenth of a percent, but still within the uh, session range. Nasdaq, that's showing diva losses of around six tenths of percent. Even Russell S and even Russell again hit the hardest down one spot one percent. Just that the dollar index is continuing to pick up a little bit. Just keep an eye on case it threatens those earlier session highs of 97 at 732. Yesterday's best low, which was a year to date high, that kicks in at 97 834. Stop filled. All right, things aren't going too well here today. Order filled. You can catch a runner back to the cloud here. You can catch a runner to the cloud. Come on. A bit of a divergence here. We got this lower low and the lower MACD or higher MACD on this lower low. So let's see if we can catch just a bit of a change in character here. Order filled. I will take that. And then the 
IAEA's cross here, just noticing that Iran still needs to clarify a number of issues. Silver looks like it's losing this uh, support. Watching my long here in UK. A draw of 138 BCF. And still following comments from Power, just stating it will be appropriate to continue to proceed with rate hikes through the course of the year. That's a draw of 139 BCF, draw of 139 BCF. Seen for Arslan Mattel. The company has halted production at its Ukrainian unit, still making operations. Stumped it there for Arslan Mattel. Separately, Russia's Gazprom has booked a gas transit capacity for exports via the Mal Europe pipeline for 3 MAPTA.
Order filled. That's the second time I got to within a tick of my six tick target. Maybe five is what I need. Of course, I am trading against the grain here, which is just something I really should not be doing. Got red clouds, red candles. One of those days where longs so far do not work out well. Order submitted. See if I can catch a long here in silver. May have missed it. Pick back one. Order filled. All right, long silver here. <clears throat> I'll keep battling here in ES though. The Ukrainian Interior Ministry advisor just stating that Russian forces are stepping up efforts to seize the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. It's going to have some comments there from the Ukrainian Interior Ministry. There's insights here from Lawrence Norman of the Wall Street Journal on these Iranian nuclear talks. He's stating that he hears talks are moving forward across the three main differences, adding we are not there yet. And it's unlikely, but not entirely concluded, that the final issues could be nailed down today. Until they are, the risk of failure, though, does remain a shrinking.
This one here from Fed Chair Powell says, for the most part, real wages are declining. Tech silver's going down. We need to get to Got these negative ticks. Money. Also, going against the green long here. Somehow I just got to build a rule in my head that says when I have red clouds, just don't play to the long side. At least make it either blue clouds or neutral. Can't figure out what's going on with silver. Why is silver acting so slow today? <coughs> um. Order filled. In fact, Jeff Powell says. Hindsight said we should have done this earlier to see if inflation has a longer lasting. Again, that's Powell says. Hindsight said we should have moved earlier to see inflation as longer lasting. And also, a report just suggesting that the US is readying new sanctions on the Russian oligarchs and the families. Actually, didn't even get a long signal and took a long stop filled. Some days you got it and some days you don't. Today in ES, I don't have it. Mostly, I will say it's because I'm going against the grain. But we won't give up. I have a $1,000 uh, lost daily limit in ES, so. Order filled. Get it. And once again, it got within one tick. I've had three of my trades get within one tick. Failed. That one got through. The two of these trades got within one tick and then failed. So I'm noting to myself, maybe if I'm under red skies, the thi thing is, oops, silver got uh, silver got filled. Um, maybe the thing is, when I'm under red skies, I really only need to go to four ticks, and I can go to six. Maybe eight ticks under green under blue skies. Maybe that's how I need to think things. Shorten under red skies if I'm trying long four ticks. And just get that one point on the yes. All right, let's look to add here to M2K. If uh, I like to see ES, I like to see NQ get a little bit more of a possible bounce going here. Add to the M2K even.
Still really not getting a, a bounce that I tells me I should be adding it. <clears throat> Hold off. Getting close, Market Denver, good. Feels like it's trying to round the corner there. <laughs> Feels like it's trying to round the corner. But I'm not seeing anything going on in the queues, really ES, that signifies the change is coming yet. Again, should have been from the short side here. So we'll just keep it off to the Some interesting tweets here from AFP just highlighting that Russian oil giant Lukul has called for a halt to the Ukraine war. It's quite interesting given that we are seeing industry figures now within Russia calling for a halt to the Ukraine war. It'll be interesting to see if other industry heavyweights or even potentially some of the banking names call for such action given how closely they are related to Putin and he's very much as we saw from the fallout of that Macron call, still looking to proceed with the mission in Ukraine. So again, just want to keep an eye on here. Lots of luck, or just calling for a halt to the Ukraine war. That seems pretty significant. Uh, Russian oil giant Luke Oil calls for a halt to the Ukraine war. That seems pretty significant. <clears throat> Order filled. Long Silva. I owe Silva. Come on, Silver. You could do it. Do we have a turn here? Do we have a turn here? Long yes. Order filled.
target filled. Adios. And Q still hasn't really turned. Nor has the honey badger. Go silver. <clears throat> Go two more ticks. You can get there. IKEA, the world. Top of our tertiary funding announcement for next week's three, 10, and 30 year auctions. Three year, that's seen at 48 billion, 10 year at 34 billion, and the 30 year at 20 billion. IKEA, the world's biggest furniture brand, is closing stores in Russia and pausing all sourcing in the country and its allies, Belarus. Joining the waves, a Western wave of Western firms curbing business. I saw a funny little meme. The Swedish was uh, Sweden was gonna send uh, some artillery or something to Ukraine or something that uh, became kind of like folded in uh, IKEA furniture instructions. Higher oil prices will show up in high inflation. <clears throat> the question is the persistence of higher oil prices for inflation. Nope, still no turn here. Overnight uh, low was uh, 4367, which were underneath it. See if uh, any buyers want to step up down here in this uh, area underneath. So far, no signs of it. Breath continues to be negative since the open. Fix not in a good place here. Kind of moving up. Order, order filled. Along here. Oh. Target filled. Wow. This media just reporting that the Raxus state owned oil marketer Slomo has received requests for additional crude supply as buyers seek alternatives to Russian volumes. Just as background, did bring you those reports earlier from Energy Intelligence estimating that Russian oil exports did drop by at least one third or some 2.5 million barrels per day as a result of financial and shipping sanctions. No, nothing. No movement to the other side. Q. Russell.
the good thing here is on the Russell, we are down into these lower bands, so I am going to go ahead and military conflict in Ukraine. The US assesses add here. Putin is putting 90% of free stage combat power in Ukraine. Three contracts, and now I have half a essentially half a mini on. <laughs> Order submitted. Playing now for a bounce at some point back to this little cloud right here. Here, my Thursday uh, trash service coming down the street. U.S. official Putin has deployed 90% of his pre stage combat power in Ukraine. Russia pow uh, Russian troops are just outside of Kharkiv, official says. Yeah, so. So far, a completely different day than yesterday's breath. Yesterday was so much easier treating the ES when you had this day. Now we're having a, at the moment, a trend down day. Will it continue? Okay, just seen a US official says they cannot confirm the presence of all Russian use of thermobaric weapons in Ukraine.
stub filled. Well, Mark in Denver, when's that long coming for you? <laughs> Just reminded you of the refunding announcement at the top of the hour. Good job, Rocket. So the three year, that's 48 as expected. 30 year, that's 20 billion. And then for the 10 year, that would be a 34 billion. So that's as expected there for that US announcement. <coughs> Long. Order filled. It got to within one tick again of that, uh, my target here. 50. Hmm. Come on, take it out right here. Target filled. All right, there we go. All right, at least we're making a recovery. Still down pretty significant on the day. They did, the company did suspend purchase for all Russian securities and its active and index funds on Monday. Still, I'm not seeing any any again, you did say this yesterday, but change in character. character. 25 basis points rate hike in March. Han says he's prepared to raise by more than that in meeting or meetings if inflation doesn't come down. Bank of England says it will cease publishing ruble exchange rates. Well, maybe M2K. Are you are you trying to turn? Are we trying to see a turn here? Trying to see a turn here.
of note for Gazprom. According to data, Gazprom books some gas transit capacity via the Yamal Europe pipeline for March 4th. Do you know that does follow Gazprom booking transit capacity for exports also today, March 3rd, on that same pipeline. And once again, it looks like it may be trying here. And just the Russian press task citing the Kremlin <clears throat> says Putin and Saudi Crown Prince discuss Western sanctions and the OPEC Plus deal. Putin told Saudi Crown Prince that it was unacceptable to politicize issues of global energy supplies. I'd like to see a three minute candle change. At least to get something potentially started here. Fix basically on the highs of the, look at the uh, Globex. I so maybe we could come some point here. Still not seeing it. Nothing that uh Still seems as though that we still have heavy uh, cell flows. Order filled. And you know, Russian foreign intelligence chief says Russia now has a real chance to put an end to the war that has been waged Target in Soviet filled. space for the past 30 years, according to TASS. Losses in half. Yes. Of note for Biogen, BIIB. Doing according to Stat News, Biogen is to cut 1,000 jobs, and that's more than 10% of its workforce. You know, that does come amid Adderhelm drug being in a limbo. Order filled.
Order submitted. One, two, three, got long of uh, 55 here. And we buy a three minute, one three minute candle of positive breath. <laughs> Go a long way just to get one three minute candle. Maybe we get at least a bounce. <clears throat> Q, maybe, maybe trying to develop. Turn here and change a character. Ed Powell, we want to put balance sheet shrinking on the back burner. And Powell just reiterating balance sheet comments saying they will decide a path for the balance sheet and let it run in the background. Still not seeing any positive momentum. <clears throat> Need some positive. Do note Ukraine Foreign Minister on the wires saying he discussed with US Secretary of State Blinken ways to strengthen Ukraine's air defense. That's come amid Ukraine's calls for NATO to put in place a no fly zone, which one way or another would essentially be a declaration of war between NATO and Russia. But just on the side of that, Ukraine's Foreign Minister says he discussed with US Blinken ways to strengthen Ukraine's air defense.
Let's listen to this Twitter space for just a little bit, see what they are talking about. Um, and especially concerning the, the uh, tactical... Just some comments from Russian Foreign Intelligence Chief. It says Ukrainians will determine their, uh, their own future, but it will be a completely different Ukraine and a different story. You know, as stocks do continue to tread lower into the U.S. up session afternoon here, I've seen bonds catch a further bid. T notes approaching earlier session highs on dollar index. Turn off that news. Some good publicity lines about that. Is there a way to control the volume on this? Twitter. Two nights or two days ago, we talked about. Uh, rather using um, um, maybe older or uh, well-known weapon systems uh, to send to Ukraine and those uh, missiles were... I don't see a way to turn up the volume. That would be a question as well if they're uh, easy to use. Nice job, uh, Twitter. Maybe the Ukrainian soldiers might know them already and uh, if they will have... You just push it up. ...in practical terms. Oh, yeah, and thank you very much again for what you're doing, and glory to Ukraine. Anyone wants to take that? Mike, oh, I missed that long. Uh, oh, uh, my gosh. Uh, are you talking about mm. German? I didn't quite get all of it. So some, some fires in my DM going off here. Um, it's about the anti-air shipment of 2700 Streeler 2, which would be SA-7 Grail uh, uh, in NATO terms uh, from the former GER to the Ukraine the Germans have uh, decided upon. So you're, are you asking what's the what's the impact? Like, is it a good thing? Yeah. What's, oh. what's the pra practical use? Are they getting there in time, even? Or can look at every. Them? You know, you can start with the psychological. When the Ukrainians <clears throat> know these things are coming, they're happy. When it comes to anti-tank armor, air defense equipment, these are things like they're not asking. They're asking for boots and helmets and. It's anti-air. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. I'm saying they can ask. I'm I'm referring to all the equipment they can ask for. Um, the, the anti-armor and the anti-air uh, and the and the air defense assets are the things they want the most because they're the things that cause immediate damage and stop the Russians where they are. And the air defense obviously gives them the ability to have have more air power. Um, so the question is, when will it get there? I don't know. It's up to Germany and the countries in between. Uh, are they trained on it? Probably not. But can they be trained? I'm sure you're highly motivated when your country is being attacked by Russia. So. I think it's great. I think Ukrainians think it's great. And I think it's great that Germany has stu stood up and done the right thing. You know, better late than never, right? Yes. Okay, I want to put the Budapest Memorandum to sleep. Everyone's talking about no-fly zones, and everyone's talking about intervention. There will be none. The, me the, rem the memorandum included security assurances against threats or use of force against the territorial integrity or political independence of Ukraine, Belarus, and Kazakhstan, right? So as far as I can see, the only, na the only nation that is actually violating the territorial integrity of uh, Ukraine is Russia. It started in 2014, and then Crimea, and then what we're seeing now. Political independence of Ukraine... Uh, well, no, that doesn't apply to it. And the whole nukes uh, argument, uh, this was done to prevent uh, proliferation of nuclear weapons. And bear in mind that the, probably the launch codes of those missiles and those weapons were in Moscow. Yes, they were kept in Ukraine, but they were controlled in Moscow. So, no, the Montreux, no, not the Montreux, the Budapest Memorandum doesn't mean that the West should step in to intervene in this war or provide a no-fly zone. If you are referencing it as an international law a framework, no, it doesn't apply.
one thing to add there is that the Budapest memorandum was essential. Trying to see a bit of a character change here. Making Europe safe in the in the second uh, in the aftermath of the fall of the Soviet uh, Union, because had they not, um, it's also important to remember the, the situation in Ukraine at the time. Long, uh, we're long as seven micros here on the Honey Badger. Lord of War. The, yeah, or Lord of War, or the there was a um, comedy movie with um, what's that American actor? I forgot his name. Um, basically, where basically people, it was open season um, in Ukraine. Uh, you could buy whatever you wanted for whatever price. There was a general selling it, um, and while they may not have had the codes to the nukes. Uh, that still meant that there was going to be a general somewhere going, you know what, I can make a buck off selling warheads. That's bad. Um, I don't know if you remember, in uh, in the 90s, there was a little little group called Al-Qaeda that was just gaining prominence. Um, How do you spell it? Bet <laughs> Al-Qaeda. <laughs> sure, okay. Yes. Um, yeah. So Order filled. You can bet anything. And these, these guys didn't have the morals. They were selling off whatever they could to the highest bidder. So you would have had warheads make their way into the international terrorism scene. It was essential to get those off the streets as soon as possible. That's why the Budapest Memorandum happened. And, and that's why very Ukraine quickly, shouldn't have held on to the nukes. And to explain very quickly why proliferation is a nightmare, it's basically where terrorists and criminals source their... Okay, we're along nine micros here. Sevens, ...their ammunition, some C4, some explosives, old grenades, RPG rounds. This is what happens... See if we can get any momentum here to the upside. Get some flowers, maybe go on a run, go to a cafe, go to a restaurant, and then boom, a terrorist attacks. Where do they get, where do they source those weapons? They source them on the black markets of small arms pro proliferation. Uh, and that's a whole different world out there. And nuclear proliferation is the worst. So the, that, that memorandum was basically to prevent the fall of any nuclear warheads in the wrong hands. Dr. Dom, go ahead, and then Jim, you're next. Uh, me and my friends started cooking up an idea in the last about 45 minutes to an hour to get a field kitchen together. Uh, we found one on olx.pl uh, for 6,500 zloty. Buy it, drive it to Przemysh, and cook for people who are waiting on the border. Could you guys possibly, like... Give us recommendations on how exactly to fund this, either through crypto or some other way, in a fairly quick manner. Thanks. We don't do crypto. I think I don't do crypto. Um, regarding funds, Yehuda. Okay. Yeah. So let's let's avoid our own personal things. Like I don't do crypto either personally. Neither is Murad. But we're. I I think we have to keep it open for other people who do want to do it, Murad. So. Let's uh, let's not murder everyone who says crypto. I love you. Um, let's let's focus on. We do have someone who's going to look into it. We're not there yet, um, and it's going to have to be controlled by someone closer to the organization here. Uh, I was telling you about the commander uh, Murad. Uh, there could be someone who volunteers the services, and I'd rather them fear her as opposed to me, right? So if they can set up a system where they're you know, like through a charity, a local charity, and, and set it up where it can be transferred to U.S. dollars. It's something we're working on. So, okay, that's right. Okay. Chloe, my cat agrees. Okay. But the crypto boys don't like me. Yeah, well, you make it clear you don't like them, so. <laughs> I don't even understand crypto, so, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Oh, I, I wouldn't. Mean, give, I wouldn't give it a shot if this is the case. This is not the time to learn crypto, I bet. It's okay. just like smoking. If you went through your life without smoking, now is not the right time to start smoke. All right, we got Jim on the phone. Jim, <laughs> Jim's a long time listener, first time caller. Yeah, hey guys, uh, thanks for the space. If this question's already been answered, feel free to disregard it. I, I've been in and out of meetings all day. Uh, the the line of vehicles uh, that supposedly stretches forty, you know, miles. Uh, I'm curious to know if if one you know is it indeed stuck uh, the way the way some folks say that it is, and if so, it would appear to to be a, a very good target for 
the Ukrainian uh, soldiers. Um, why, if that's so, why have they not gone to attack it? Uh, is this a reflection of their capacity to do so? Could somebody kind of speak to that a little bit? Thank you. The convoy uh, wasn't moving as quickly as possible because it was facing logistical problems and it was actually attacked. There's an article on the Washington Post right now that shows aerial uh, photos of the damage after it was attacked in an airstrike. I hope this answers your question. MS, go next. Oh, hi. Um, I just wanted to know, I heard earlier, and I apologize, I was Order sleeping, filled. so I've just, it's morning for me here, I'm in Canada, um, but I thought I heard while I was sleeping someone saying that um, food's not getting in, and I, I'm not sure which area they were talking to, but I just wanted to know if you could comment on the um, what's happening on the ground in terms of getting food and other emergency supplies into um, some of these uh, cities such as Corson and uh, Kharkiv, etc. Et Pardon, is the question about the situation in Kherson and Kharkiv? Right? Hey, Mark Denver, Sorry, did you... I'm, I didn't hear what you just said. Sorry. Are you asking about the situation in Kherson and Kharkiv at this very moment? No, I'm asking, are there any reports that food supplies, emergency food supplies for for the... Uh, Mark in Denver, did you get a turn signal in uh, M2K? Did you get long in there? Curious. Kherson is a big problem. Kherson has has essentially built has been essentially sealed off by um, Russians and Russian troops. All the attempts to establish a humanitarian corridor, or as they call it in Ukraine, a green corridor, they been they have been denied by Russian forces. Russians deny access to Kherson for civilians of the neighboring towns and villages. Order filled. On Kherson, on foods. All right, we're down to five. Essentially, whoever Micros. wanted to leave Kherson or enter Kherson was shot. Essentially, civilian vehicles were shot upon by Russian troops. This was a problem. Situation was like that, as I described, as of yesterday. During the night, Russian troops moved in, and there was fighting inside of the city. Order submitted. Territorial defense forces. So it's developing situation overall. Kherson and neighboring, a couple of neighboring villages were, uh, were having a significant problems because people had very good market Denver, very good days, and there were even problems with drinking water. Again, Russians denied access to that area. In regards of Kharkiv, it's a bit better because the city is somewhat connected still, and there is access. To I'm missing a silver trade. Railroad. So that one city, there isn't that a population of close to 300,000 people? In Kherson, yes, but there are also neighboring towns which are suffering. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you for your you. question. Uh, Komodo Joe asks, Do we Order have Komodo canceled. Joe asks uh, is there any, could any of you provide a link to get some more info on OSINT? I can't, but maybe OSINT UK can. Was that the uh, Ukraine uh, chat there? Back up news. And BOC's Macklem says when QT starts, we will stop purchasing Can Canadian government bonds f from that point forward. And maturing bonds will not be replaced when they roll off the balance sheet. With BOC's Macklem saying the decision Order to submitted. hike rates means ending Order the investments filled. and moving to QT would be a natural next step. 
So the time and the pace of QT would be fully transparent. Saying the BRC, when we initiate QT, we do not intend to actively sell bonds. Saying the broadening in price pressures is a big concern, making it more difficult for Canadians to avoid inflation. Macklem does note long-term inflation expectations have remained anchored, and we will use our tools with determination to keep them that way. Macklem just talked about the need for higher rates to dampen spending growth, so demand does not run significantly ahead of supply. Order cancelled. Macklin does say they expect global demand and supply goods to gradually come into better balance through the year. They note that roughly 40% of the BOC's bond holdings mature within the next two years, suggesting balance sheet would shrink relatively quickly. Macklin saying as Canadian government bond holdings mature and roll off, the level of settlement balances on their balance sheet will decline roughly in tandem. Brought the volume back down on the news. They turned it up for that Russia stuff. Made the uh, news volume a little bit high. I was looking for US bill sales. On the one month bills, 49 billion sold at 16 and a half basis points, covered two spot four eight times. While two month bills sold at 20 spot five basis points, covered three spot six nine times. If you're watching the broadcast, if you could do me a favor, I really always ask if you could go down and just hit the thumbs up, the likes button. Even if you're uh, not in the chat room, just lets me know that there's somebody out there watching, paying attention. If you want to continue to see me broadcast, I do like to see those likes. Also, if you are new, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Uh, no, Mark in Denver, I really do not. I've watched, you know, some of the big games when it's come down to the championships. But um, 
Um, I'd, I'd say no. So, I'm not one, unfortunately, you can really have a discussion about. It. <laughs> I am, uh, can't say I uh, know much about it. I'd probably say I watch more tennis than I do Premier League soccer. I do watch, try to watch most of the uh, championship matches in the tennis, men's tennis. Very rarely watch the women's, but uh, men's tennis, I will watch the, uh, usually the uh, big championship match. Comments from Canadian Natural Resources. They're saying they're seeing inflation pressure, including 20% for steel. There was a, a time in my life, Mark, at Denver, I was pretty big into indoor soccer back in the 80s. Um, when I lived in St. Louis, we had the, uh, when the MISL, Major League Indoor Soccer, was actually pretty big at that time, too. And uh, I was in St. Louis, and we had the St. Louis Steamers, and I got, as far as indoor soccer, the action I really got into. Um, And St. Louis is also kind of a soccer town in a sense that we always had St. Louis University, which always was good in college soccer, but never really got into it. Um, growing up in St. Louis, a lot of people thought that that was kind of a soccer capital. There's just a lot of soccer that goes on in St. Louis, but I never got myself too involved on it. It will be interesting to see how St. Louis supports Major League Soccer, when it uh, starts building a stadium right now, and uh, they will have a team. So I may pay attention a little bit more to soccer in general once uh, St. Louis has a MSL team. When I was in Dallas, I did go to probably about five um, soccer games with the uh, the football club, Dallas Football Club. What was that? What was the name of the Dallas Football Club? It was uh, their uh, their home was in uh, Frisco, Texas, where they played and uh, enjoyed that. I actually have a couple. Hey, you talk about Market Denver. Here you go. See, I could get into soccer potentially because I have I have something that is. Uh, hang on. Market Denver, what's this right here? There you go. Tell me what that is right there. You being a soccer fan apparently should know exactly what this is. <laughs> They're really hard to blow, too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uvazuela. Got a couple of these. When I was in when I was in Fort Worth, my uh, wife taught at a inner school in Fort Worth, and did go to a couple of middle school uh, soccer games. <laughs> yeah, Vuvuzela, and um, I bought these to go to the soccer game and cheer on the uh, soccer kids. I've kept them ever since. So I have a little soccer in me, being from St. Louis, um, but never, never got into the Premier League. P 
probably because I didn't have a local support team that I could really be a part of. That was a long answer to your question. <laughs> and I missed a long in MES. I'm sorry, ES. <laughs> still used to trading micros. We are still along the um, five micros here in uh, the Honey Badger. Comments from Ukraine president says if allies won't enforce the no fly zone, then they should give us planes. <laughs> oh. Who's going to fly those planes? That'd be a question. <clears throat> there still really hasn't been an overall change in breath, so I'm skeptical that this is only a bounce at the moment. Breath's still negative. Fix it. Uh, yeah, it's a call. It's called the halfway point between the highs and the lows of the session. <laughs> but been no real breath under the surface changing anything here. Really need to see at least one nice green candle to get some real hope. Needs need a little bit of change here for. Real hope that we could really recover. But hey, I'm still long here. <laughs> I trade with hope. Order filled. Hey, we are down to two contracts here. Order submitted. So I still got a long in silver going. Still long to, uh, Two micros down from, I think, was it nine down here? Yeah, Market Denver, and I've always been a little suspect of MLS if it can make it long term. There's been some regions I know that have supported it very well, uh, especially out in the Northwest. Um, Dallas has been a uh, 
pretty good supporter two of its soccer team and it's had some um some pretty good attendance and support with fc dallas there was a time that the la galaxy right had uh some of that support came in when they had uh like was it bended with beckham on their team And so I did follow MLS soccer a little bit during the day I was in Texas. But since I've moved here, in Auburn, I, I've, that's even kind of waned from me. I am waiting uh, for the St. Louis uh, team to uh, get started, and I may follow MLS a little bit more again. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's held. It's, it's held. You know, heck, right now MLS is probably hoping that baseball stays grounded, right? It would be a good opportunity for MLS to keep uh, baseball grounded. I was just looking to see in the MLS how many uh, teams there are. And uh, pretty big, uh, pretty big league now with 28 teams. At 14 Eastern Conference teams and 14 Western Conference teams. And uh, it looks like. The uh, 2022 season is uh, just getting started. I need one more push back to this little sliver cloud that's uh, right here. <clears throat> At least breath looks like we have uh, one possible three minute candle that may be green here. Seems to be some uh, selling on this bounce that we're getting now. 
back through. If we move back down into this area, I'll be looking to add again to uh, my uh, two contracts that I still have on. So we'll see how this day ends. I'm still not certain. At least at the moment, I cut my ES losses. But I think it's time to close up today's broadcast day. In next week, I will uh, not be broadcasting. The uh, President Putin on wires. Do you know it says Russian soldiers are acting bravely as real heroes, and says soldiers are sacrificing their lives. Just making you aware, currently speaking. But my wife will be home next week for spring break. Ukraine military on, says it believes Belarus troops have received orders to cross the Ukrainian border. Ukraine military saying it believes Belarusian troops have received orders to cross the Ukrainian border. Thanks, Mark in Denver. I will. Hopefully, I could spend some a little bit more time with her. At least she doesn't have to tiptoe around the house trying to interrupt the broadcast or anything. Weather is supposed to be uh, pretty good. It's been in the 80s the last couple of days. Can't complain about that. It's supposed to be a nice weekend. Actually going to get the solar uh, cover out for the pool. Get it on this weekend. Start hoping for the days of swimming to arrive. Still probably a month out before that at least. But uh, maybe even a month and a half. But we'll, we'll see what the the spring holds for us but we continue to have some of these sunny 85 degree days and it's march um don't go through a major problem is the pool doesn't get warm enough if we get like a five day uh clouds and a little bit of rain that just drops the pool off pretty quick because it uh, still gets cool at night we'll see but we'll get the pool cover on and Cross my fingers that uh, get some uh, some uh, action in the water. Uh, Tanner Yokum, what is the uh, moving average indicator in the chart? This right here is what is known as a super trend. I like call moving average and super trends. That's what I like. Those are my two favorite. So have a uh, good rest of your trading day. Market Denver, one, two, three. Willie, Alex. Mike Mandarino, if you are still out there, thanks for stopping by and saying hello. And Tanner Yoakum, thanks for saying hello in the chat room, asking a question. Yeah, you, you uh, one, two, three, you can still get quite a bit of snow in March. So you'll take 70 degrees all day long, right? 
I mean, you can get snow all the way up and through through Easter, right? Pretty easily. I know when I lived in St. Louis, we definitely had March was one of our bigger months for snow. It seems at times. In April, uh, we could get snow up till Easter, so I'm sure that's the same in Chicago. Definitely can get some snow up to Easter, easily. And of note for energy in Europe, you know, oil product deliveries to the Spanish market from fuel distributor Exelon terminals rose by 13.5% in February year over year. Yeah, mid-April. No snow down in the south for me. It's been four years since I've seen measurable snow. <laughs> Don't miss it at all. Point of comparison, do note in January, all product deliveries on the fuel um, excellent terminal. The Margo hit, hit tape there. Year. So we're now running at a 30.5% year-over-year increase there. I'm going to hit the tape there, and I'll some news. All right, everybody, have a good rest of the trading day, trading week, and uh, stay safe out there. See you in a couple weeks. Peace.